the value of 2 minus 0 plus 2 minus 4. 2 minus 0 plus 2 minus 4. Well, 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 minus 4 is minus 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So the answer here is B. The integers negative 5 and 6 are shown on a number line, the distance between them. Okay, well, it's nice that they've already made the number line. From minus 5 to 6, you if you just count these, you would count from here to here would be 5, and then from the 0 to the 6 would be 6, and then 5 plus 6 is 11. So D is the answer. In the diagram, the word Pascal is written inside a circle. When the diagram is rotated 180 degrees in the clockwise direction, the resulting figure is. Let's draw a circle. Draw a center and draw a little arrow that points to the top. Then you're going to take that arrow and go 180 degrees like that. So then eventually the arrow will point downwards. And then what you can do is just on your piece of paper write Pascal. And then see when the arrow is pointing downwards, flip your uh, uh, page around and see what it looks like. Basically, when you flip your page around, and the arrow, then we want it here. Pascal, how's it going to look? And you will clearly see that it will look like this, if I can even try it, to draw it like that. And of the answer choices, the one that is like that is C. In a certain year, July 1st was a Wednesday, and that year, July 17th was. So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So the first is on a Wednesday. So we got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Seventeenth looks like Friday. So that would mean choice D. Six rhombi of side length one are arranged as shown. What is the perimeter? Okay, so all of these are one. So we just have to count how many of those sides are acting as a part of the perimeter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen is the answer because you're only looking at the parts of the rhombi that make up the perimeter of the figure. So that would be B. Narsa buys a package of 45 cookies on Monday morning. The bar graph shows the number of cookies that Narsa eats each day from Monday to Friday. How many cookies are left in the package after Friday? So it starts off with 45, right? So we're going to subtract from that 45 how many she ate. So on Monday she ate 4, according to that bar graph. Tuesday it looks like she ate 12. Wednesday that is 8. Thursday there's nothing there, so 0. And then Friday it looks like 6. So that is 45 minus uh, 20, 30. So that is 15 is how many are remaining. And that would mean number 6 is D. Shuksin begins with 10 red candies, 7 yellow, and 3 blue. After eating some of the candies, there are equal number of red, yellow, and blue candies. Remaining what is the smallest possible number of candies that Shu Sin, Shuxin, eight. Okay, so we have ten red, seven yellow, and three blue. So I guess we, they want the smallest. So let's see how we can do this the smallest. I'm going to say at the end there's three of each because I, I think we can obviously go lower. We can go two of each or one, zero of each, but three is the lowest. We can't go higher than three because we're starting with three. So that means I had to have eight, four of the yellow and six of the red. So 4 plus 6 is 10. So 10 is the... S well, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I did this right. Um, 10, yellow, and 3. Uh, if I went from 7 to 3, that's 4. Oh, boy, oh, boy, that's terrible. That's 7. And, uh, see, that's what happens when you do things too fast. So 7 plus 4 is the answer, and therefore that would be 11. So 7 is C. There are 20 students in a class. In total, 10 of them have black hair, 5 of them have wear glasses, and 3 of them both have black hair and wear glasses. How many of the students have black hair but do not wear glasses? 
Okay, so we have 20 students and we have 10 that have black hair. Okay, and then the other 10 have some other color hair. They don't specify. And then of the 20 students, we have five that wear glasses. Okay, and of those five that wear glasses, three of them have both black hair and wear glasses. So there's three that have black hair and wear glasses. Okay, I got it. So that black hair can be split up into three and seven. Three that have glasses and seven that have no glasses. I hope that makes sense. So seven is what they're asking for students that have black hair but have do not wear glasses. So that would be eight. A hiker is, is exploring a trail. The trail has three sections. First 25% of the trail along a river. Next five over eight of the trail is through a forest and the remaining three kilometers is up a hill. How long is the trail? Okay, let's segmentalize this and this will not be drawn to scale because I'm working through the question here. 25% as one quarter of that trail is a river. Okay, great. And then five over eight is along some trail and then the remaining is uh, up a hill. Okay, so two over eight is really what, what quor one quarter is. So this entire is two over eight plus five over eight, which is seven over eight. So then that means the remaining would be the one over eight, right? Because the whole thing has to add up to a full one. So one over eight is the hill. Now, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, they're told that three kilometers. Oh, this is three kilometers. Ah, okay, I got it. So 1 over 8th of the total distance, which I'll call D, is 3. So therefore, D would be 3 times 8, which is 24. And therefore, in number 9, the answer is 8. The operation symbol is defined as A symbol B is 4A plus B. What is the value of 5 symbol 2 symbol 2? So first, let's just do 5 symbol 2. So according to that operation, it would be 4 times 5 plus 2, which is 22. And then, therefore, 22 symbol 2 is what we'll calculate next. And that would be 4 times 22 plus 2, which is 88 plus 2, which is 90. And therefore, number 10, the answer is E.